Hello and welcome to Finish Flies. Uh, pattern that we're going to be doing now is one that we've done last year for the mayfly season. It's uh, an emerging mayfly pattern using a size 10 hook. And what we're going to do, we're just going to put in some fluorescent thread. So we just tie them on. We bring this round just round the bend of the hook. This is going to just going to create that weak trigger point. So we bring him up and then we'll finish this one off. Once we've finished him, we're just going to reinforce that with a bit of varnish. Just get a wee taste. Just touch the back. Like that. Just uh, helps it when you're pulling along and the fish are getting the teeth into it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the tail in. So catch the thread in again. Bring the thread all the way down. Just about there. Trim off the waist. For the tail I'm using a fiery brown cock pheasant. So we take a few fibres, catch them in, pinch and loop, catch them in like such. Trim off the waist. Now for the body, what we're going to be using, my favourite material at the moment, pseudo hackle. This is the uh, olive brown. So we're going to catch that in. And we're just going to bring that thread up to where the thread started. And then touching turns, I'm just going to bring this up. And as you can see what happens, it creates that body and the hackle effect at the same time. So we're getting into there. Secure that in, trim off the waist. Once we've done that there, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a wing. And what I'm going to be using is two plumes of the brown, light brown uh, CDC. So we've got two plumes, catch them in, pinch and loop, catch that in like such. Trim off the waist. Next thing we're going to do is cock pheasant again. So we'll get some of the fibres, setting them in, pinch and loop, secure that in, trim off the waist. Once he's done, next thing we're going to do, put, put a hackle in. And what we're going to be using here, this is the Pickwick Olive CDC. So catch him in, bring the tip over, lock in turn, secure that. Once that's secured, we're going to wind in the CDC like a hackle. So we just catch him, and as we're folding it backwards, winding it in. Fold it backwards, and wind it in. Just going to keep doing that there. Come to the end, like that. Then just secure that CDC. Trim off the waist. Once it's trimmed, we're just going to build up that base to finish the fly off. And what we do now is bring that cock pheasant over, and we're just going to bring it roughly between the two bits of CDC, catch them in, secure that in, trim off the waist, whip finish it, tie it off. Once you're done, yeah, two or three coats of varnish on the head, this is number two clear varnish. And there we go. So basically what he's done there, he just created a mayfly merger pattern. As you can see, the wing coming out, cock pheasant there, just pulling them to five to the side. The thing about this here, you can actually throw it on the water and it'll sit in the surface film. Or if you've got the wave, you can pull it through and the CDC will pulsate actually in the water. So that's my Mayfly Emerger and I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, visit my channel on YouTube 
on the finished flies if you want to see any more patterns. So as I say, Erin Island, happy wrappings.